Hello, my name is Charlotte and in October I'm going to be moving to Saudi Arabia to live there for about a year or maybe longer, probably longer. I'm in the process of organising my e karma which is sort of like a working visa and in the meantime I'm going to go to Saudi on a tourist visa. Tourist visas have only recently been introduced. The e-visa which is the sort of online tourist visa that you can do yourself without having to go through an agent or um, the consulate that only opened on the 27th of September so really really recently for many years Saudi has been a very sort of protected and closed country they haven't let many people in Previously, you could only visit Saudi if you were, obviously if you're a Saudi national, if you were Muslim and going on a pilgrimage known as Hajj, if you were a business person or if you were being employed by a Saudi company, and if you were a relative of a Saudi national. So now that they're finally opening their doors, it is a pretty big deal, it's pretty amazing and very exciting because it's kind of an untouched area so I'm used to going to like Bali and Vietnam and although they are absolutely beautiful places they're so stunning and the people are incredible every beautiful sunset you're sharing it with thousands of other tourists so it's really exciting to get the opportunity to have a new country to explore. The Saudi e-visa system is open to 49 countries. The people that can use the e-visa system include Americans, Australians, British people, EU nationals, people from New Zealand, lots of different people. There are a few countries that aren't included in the e-visa system. Most people can still get a visa, but they have to go through a slightly different route. You have to go through a consulate and provide additional documents. The e-visa costs £90, which is about $120, I think. I'm about to apply for my e-visa online, and as it's a very new thing, I thought that I would go through it with you to show you how it's done. So I hope it's helpful. So before you start, you'll need your passport, a passport photo uploaded onto your computer, the contact details of where you're staying, and a bank card. So this is the e-visa portal. How cute is that picture? The website address is visa.visitsaudi.com. So the first thing that you'll need to do is scroll down to here where it says apply now. So click on that. You will be asked to create an e-visa account. So select the type of passport that you have. For most people that will be a regular passport. Select your nationality. Type in the special number. Then click next. Then it will ask you to register. So type in your details, your name, your number, and your email address. Click on register. You should have received an email with an activation link that you need to click on in order to log in to the e-visa page so that you can start your application. Once you have clicked on the activation link, type in your email, your password, and then click log in. Scroll down. And here you can choose to either apply for an individual or group visa. If you're applying for your whole family, I would click on the group. And But for me personally, I'm just going by myself, so I'm applying for an individual visa. Scroll down again. So you'll see you get 10 minutes for each section of the application. So there are a number of different steps here on the side. So you've got uh, step one is personal information. So first question, are you applying on behalf of somebody else? No, I'm not. Picture. So you'll need a picture uh, that is just kind of like a standard passport photo. All the usual things apply, like you have to be in front of a white background with no shadows. You have to be facing the camera with a neutral expression and you can't have any glasses on or anything covering your head like a hat 
unless uh, you're wearing something for religious reasons and then you still have to make sure that your facial features are visible. Um, it has to be square, I think, but the, the, the details are all here if you want to learn more. So then if you scroll down, you type in your country of nationality. Father name or middle name just means middle name. Now this is a really annoying thing about this website. So as far as I can tell, there is no way of just typing in your date of birth. You have to go through this calendar and there is no faster way of doing it than just clicking on this arrow. So I'm definitely feeling very grateful that I'm still in my 20s because if I was 80 or 90 years old and applying for this visa, I would be feeling pretty annoyed <laughs> that I would have to sit here for probably 10 minutes just scrolling through to get to my day's birth. You then need to type in the city that you were born in, your profession and your current residence. So... I'll type in my London address, and then once you're done, click next. Woohoo! So now we are on the passport step of the application, so we get another 10 minutes to do this. Select the passport that you have. For me, I have a regular passport. You need to type in your passport number, where your passport was issued, the date it was issued, expiry date, and you need to Put in the date that you expect to arrive in Saudi and the date that you expect to depart. The tourist visa is valid for one year starting from the date that the visa is issued. You can stay for a period of 180 days. So it's asking for the purpose of my visit and I'm going to select leisure. Then it asks for the details of where you're staying. So commercial would be if you're staying in a hotel and then you would just type in the name of the hotel and the contact number and email of the hotel. If, however, you're staying with a relative or in somebody's house, like I am, you need to type in the name of the person that you're staying with, the city that you're staying in and the address, as well as the contact details, the telephone number and email of that person. If you're staying in Jeddah, do you note that this is actually in Mecca, not in Jeddah? It's quite confusing. The next section is medical insurance. So you have to have medical insurance in order to visit Saudi Arabia. And the medical insurance is actually included in the visa package. So it says here, medical insurance covers only emergency cases all of the companies are approved and certified in Saudi Arabia. You don't really have a choice as to whether you get insurance or not. You have to have insurance. And so it says, by checking this box, I agree to the insurance coverage listed above with a fee of 140 Saudi real, including 5% flat. So 140 Saudi real is about 30 pounds and about maybe 35, 40 US dollars. Let's see what happens if I click this next without agreeing. <laughs> that doesn't work. So yeah, you basically have to tick that box if you want a visa. This page is just all about the terms and conditions of the visa. It's just making sure that you know that some things aren't allowed in Saudi, like narcotic drugs, indecent materials. Hmm. I acknowledge that drug dealing or smuggling drugs into the kingdom is a crime punishable by death penalty. Yeah, don't try and bring drugs into the country. So you just need to tick that box there and click next. Now is a chance to review your application. So I've applied for an individual visa for one female. Click agree and complete payment. So the total amount comes to 463.44 Saudi Arabian real. That is roughly about a hundred pounds and about a hundred and twenty 
three or so US dollars. That is including uh, visa insurance and VAT, as well as a transactional fee. That's paying with visa. If you choose to pay with Amex, there is an additional charge. So I'm gonna pay with visa. When you're ready to pay, check this box here and then click agree and complete payments. Type in your card details, press pay now and then you're done. This is my cat dream catcher <laughs> who it appears would also like an e-visa to Saudi Arabia. Do you want to come as well? I would love for you to come. This is so exciting, I can't believe it. I literally applied for the visa about five minutes ago and I've just received this email saying, Dear Charlotte, we're glad to inform you that your application has been approved and your e-visa has been issued. Yay! I really hope this video has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I will endeavor to answer them. And if you would like to see more videos about what I'm going to be getting up to in Saudi, please subscribe and follow my journey. I hope that you have a lovely day. Good girl. You are.